along with it a little bit, but this is going to be kind of like my first review with the game. And today we have Guardian of Oblivion. I think this is a multi-ending game, so we're going to see if we can unlock all the endings. Let me see if I turn my OBS on because I'm dumb. Yes, it's on. Okay. What's my volume? Oh god, okay. Wait a second. Game, calm down. You are so loud. Oh, goodness. There we go. That's about right for me. That was crazy loud. Uh, we'll leave the sound effects on until we figure that out, I guess. Start. Okay. I want to live... Oh, this is a visual novel. I want to live a peaceful existence. Far from everything. No more noise. No more people. Just a peaceful life in a place where I can mind my own business without being disturbed. A world that would be just as I want, like a fragment of paradise. Yet, da da da, I slowly opened my eyes. I was in a large, comfortable bed that smelled of smelled like lavender. A sun ray gently sto stroked my face as I got up. Where am I? Revan said. I didn't recognize this place. I had never seen an open-air bedroom like this before. And it certainly didn't look like where I lived. I'm gonna look at this mirror. Oh, I'm a girl. Yes, an ordinary mirror. I look a bit as sloppy as usual. At least it has eyeballs where you can look. A nice comfy bed. Now I feel like taking a nap. A sunflower. There's a pretty sunflower next to the bed. It really adds color to the room. Fortunately, that door wasn't locked, so I opened it to discover where I was. Carefully glancing around me, I took a few steps and found myself in a weird, enchanting place. Oh, we got an achievement. Let's go. I was in a splendid little garden with a huge tree planted in the middle. A really bushy and knotted tree. Higher than the little house nearby. Even and even. And it bore weird glowing fruits all over its branches. Then I noticed the walls encircling the garden as if something wanted to prevent me from leaving. I couldn't help but think it was a pretty strange scene. Strange but pretty scene. I was lost in thought when I finally realized I wasn't alone. Oh, what's up, buds? It's a pretty world. Those fruits are glowing. Should I try to eat one? Nah, I don't want to end up being sick. Yeah, they're radioactive, probably. How do I talk to you, homie? Oh, chat box. Duck me, duck! Hello there, young... Wait. I can't do a duck noise. How does... How do you do Daffy's... Donald's voice? <laughs> I don't know. Hello there, young human. It's been a while. How are you doing? He's got a monocle. Just give him a fancy voice. Uh, excuse me. Where am I? And what the hell are you exactly? How rude. I'm an old acquaintance of yours and you treat me like a stranger. We're at your place, of course. Why else would I be here there to greet you? We could be at your place. Nonsense. Nonsense. Answer me. Where are we? What am I doing here? You're not very nice, you know that. I already told you. We're in a place made just for you. Some kind of paradise. Really? Then am I dreaming? Maybe. Maybe not. It's of no importance. You weren't very polite earlier. But nonetheless, I wish you a nice day in our beautiful garden. Come talk to me when you're in the mood for a philosophical debate. I know, debate, I know that you like those very much. Hey, come at me. Oh, that's all you got for me? Okay. Hi, I was waiting for you. It's been so long since the last time we've seen each other. I'm happy to be able to finally see your face, Fox Tan. Uh, do we know each other? Oh, I see. You don't remember your old acquaintance. That's too bad. But, but it's all right. We can make up for all that lost sweet time we've lost now. Could you tell me where I'm standing right now, please? We're at your place. Ah, oh, sorry. It must be confusing, but I don't know how to put in words. We're in your dream world, where you can be yourself and stop worrying about the life out there. Out there? In the real world? Does that mean I can't go back? Why would you? You can enjoy happy days with us, all of us now. Please don't think too much about it. Take this as a once in a lifetime chance and make the most of it. If you're worried about something, please come see me. Okay. Uh, let's go in the house. Crap, it's a seal. 
Wow, it's just like Bell's lab Library in Beauty and the Beast. I've always dreamed of having that many books. Hey, yeah, it's been a while. You don't hang around with us anymore, right? And uh, wha who are you exactly? The librarian, isn't it obvious? Er, uh, sure. And where are we, please? In a library, duh. You're not the brightest today. Of course, I figured it out, thanks. I meant this garden, this world. All that? Who cares? As long as I have books to read, everything's fine. You found your room, right? Just make yourself at home. Well, whenever you have free time, pay me a visit. We can all talk about all the books we've read. I know a bunch. What is with this kid laughing in my freaking ears? It's pissing me off. Oh my god. What's that? It looks like a door. Maybe it's a, the exit. Uh, it's locked. I guess I'm stuck here. I didn't even click that. I just kind of did that on its own. What's the door over there? Don't worry about that. About it, young human. It matters not. The main thing at hand is your happiness. Don't go near that thing again. I don't want you to be hurt. Is that a threat? Do you, you know where that door leads? Uh, I'm sorry, but I was told that door only leads to destruction and pain. Please don't try anything dangerous. Okay. Look at it again. Uh-oh. Music stopped. Ooh, what'd I do? Remember. Please remember, or you're gonna lose yourself. And the music. I woke up in the bedroom as if I had just taken a nap. That's strange. I don't remember going to bed. I was standing just a minute ago. Did I f suddenly feel sleepy and lie down? Maybe I'm just tired. That's all. I this new environment, surely. Hey, there's another one of those animals next to the door. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, you have a really big head. You really don't change, you know that? But it's good to see you again. I'm glad you're here. And I hope you'll enjoy living in your new house. And you are? Your best friend. I waited a bit before showing myself, but now I am here for you. You don't have to suffer anymore, nor ask yourself so many questions. I know it's not that big of a house, but bear with me for the moment. It's your dream place after all. You're so cute. Come back, and I'll tell you some tales. I know you love stories. A nice comfy bed. Oh, well, I already looked at this. Let's look at the book. A bookmark has been left between the pages of the book. There is some kind of poem written into it. Deeper into oblivion I fall. I wonder what that means. Talk to the bunny. Oh, that's it? That's all you got for me, bunny? What about you? What you got? Good morning, young human. How are you today? doing today hi raven how's it going i'm fine i guess i'm not used to this place i understand feel free to talk to me or humpty if you need something okay humpty the bunny he should be in your room right he wanted to see you so badly anyway humpty is most the most knowledgeable around here he knows pretty much everything about the door too I guess he does, but don't bother him with things like that, please. What's over here? Oh, that's my room. Okay, interesting. What's up, still boy? Oh, I hope you slept well. Want to read with me? No, nerd. I don't. Let's look at the door again. Door's locked. If only I had the key. Where would the key be? Okay, I've done all that. Is there anything else I can look at here? Talk to this bunny again. Your expression doesn't exactly fill me with the confidence, but go ahead, I'm listening. What do you truly know? The outside world, a forbidden place, only sorrow awaits you there. I'd rather not have you wander to the other side for your own sake. The door's tightly locked anyway, and you won't be able to find the key. Wouldn't be able to find the key. I don't need to be protected. Where can I find the key? I want to know what's on the other side of the door. You're really that determined. Let's play a game, shall we? Look at that mad face. I will give you the key if you find the answer to my riddle. Deal, I'm all your ears. I know you love fantasy books, especially fantastic ones. Do you remember the Lotus Eaters Island in the Odyssey? I do. That's where they make people forget and they get stuck there. 
There are a race of people who consume a fruit with very specific properties. What does the lotus do when you eat it? You forget. That's not a riddle, that's a quiz game. Maybe so, but that's my question nonetheless. Remember, what effect does the lotus have? You forget. I know. I know what it is. Have you found the answer? Da, da, da. That's great. I got it on the first try. I'm a fucking genius. Oh, that's correct. As soon as they ate the fruit. That's why you take Greek mythology and college kids. That right there. As soon as they ate the fruit, uh, Odysseus's men forgot who they were and where they come from. Worse still, the Lotus Eater's reception was so pleasant they didn't want to return home anymore. A promise is a promise. Thus you've won for now. Congratulations. But really, you shouldn't use that key. Consider that, please. But you may bitterly regret your act. Oh man, look at how sad she is. I'm really d disappointed to see you've got the key. Please, I beg of you, don't do this. Don't destroy my dream. I'm sorry. That's kind of sad. What effect does the lotus plant have? Are you playing some sort of a game? I'm not very skilled when it comes to riddles. Sorry. You should ask Lote, the librarian. She may be into those things. Well, how do you know? Stop while you still can, please. Should I talk to him before? Yeah, I'll talk to him. Even though I already got the I already know, dude. Don't know where it comes from, but it sure is unexpected of you to ask random questions. Or not. Well, I don't know that, but the answer must be in a book. Right. Right, the Odyssey. Do you have it on the shelves? Not as far as I know. I could book it for you, though. <laughs> no, I don't have this one, but I'm sure the answer is right in front of you. You had better not forget my advice. Uh, see, I knew it. What's this? This is a star? Ceiling has been made to look in, like a planetarium. It's beautiful. I can't remember the names of the stars represented, though. Good enough. Alright, I'll see notes on the flip side. Let's open that door! As soon as I unlock the door, a breath of fresh air gently stroke my hair, giving me a nice feeling. I step forward. A bright light dazzled me for a moment. When I opened my eyes again, I was in the middle of an ocean of colors, an endless flower field. Nothing else within sight other than pure beauty. I smiled. Looking at all those shards of blue, red, and green, I thought. Lost in thought, I had almost forgotten why I was here in the first place. I tried to walk, but I didn't know where to go. I felt so tiny. And suddenly a bit dizzy, too. Uh-oh. I wanted to move forward, but it's already, it's already too late. I was paralyzed. Uh-oh, I've been tranked. My vision became clouded in the blink of an eye. Then, darkness swallowed me. What is this? I swear I know the shape. It's Humpty, the rabbit. Oh, well, f crap. When I opened my eyes, I was laying in the bed like nothing had happened. I didn't understand what was that mysterious flower filled. Well, well, has your thirst been quenched now? Didn't see enough for that. What's on the other side of the flower field? Why bother answering? All I know can only cause harm. I thought that would be enough for you. That you would finally understand. I was wrong. The door has been closed again anyway. You can't go back there unless you get a hold of the key again. Don't ask me to tell you where the key is. There is a limit to my kindness. Uh -oh. That's it, you've seen the border now. But you aren't satisfied, are you? You want more, you want to go out into the other world, you just want to kill us all already. It's my fault, I made a terrible mistake, I should never let you beg Humpty. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, everything is my fault. Yeah, I guess so. Pardon me, young human, is something the matter? Not really, why? You tried to leave us, I don't understand. Aren't you enjoying your stay here? Aren't you happy in this peaceful little paradise? You can have everyth anything you want. I don't understand. Why are you trying to go away? I thought we'd be happy together as before. I don't know myself. Still reading? You're a waste of potential. You know that, Revan. You could do so much more. You can't even imagine. What are you talking about? 
You went to the flower field, right? Why would you waste your time when you can use your magic here? Magic? I'm dead serious. The others didn't tell you. If you focus enough, you can make things materialize by using books. Wow, really? That sounds fun. Can I try? Not right now, but if you wait a bit, I'm sure your power will be useful in due time. Anything else? Where would I find the key? Where would said key be? Oh wait, I know where it's at. Ha ha ha. I can see something glowing in the water. An old rusty key. It must be the one that opens that mysterious door. See ya, nerds. Let's open that door. As soon as I unlocked... Oh, I got another thing. As soon as I unlocked the mysterious door, the same breath of fresh air engulfed me. Irredeemable. That doesn't sound good. I was determined to uncover the mystery of the flower field and began to walk at a brisk pace straight through the colors. I had to know what was on the other side, but the strange dizziness striked again. I tried to escape from the dark embrace to go further, but it was no use. Soon enough, my whole body stiffened, and a wave of pain filled me up as I choked and choked. The last thing I saw as I lost consciousness was blood purring from, pouring from my mouth. Oh, that's not good. I know this shape. It's a city. My hometown. The place I used to live in. I remember it. I don't miss that city. I don't want to go back. My new place is nice. Like It's like a fragment of paradise. I wish I could stay here forever. Revan, are you really telling the truth? Uh-oh. What the heck? This time when I woke up, my body was stiff and ached. As I slowly got up. I noticed the sky wasn't made of pure blue anymore. There was a gray, misty sky that let out in the rainy scent. There might be a storm coming this way. I didn't feel at ease looking at this theater theatrical set that was beginning to collapse. You don't look good, Revan. You're harming yourself and that saddens me to no end. Stop. Please. Make me. The flower has withered. The room looks sad without its color. Just an ordinary memory. I look a bit tired. Is that my imagination? Even if you got yourself into this situation, it saddens me to no end to see you in that state. Riven, please stop. Oh, whoa. Garden has taken a, on a grim look as well. Doesn't feel that welcoming now. The fox isn't here anymore. I wonder where she went. Crap, the door is blocked. The tree roots have grown rapidly. I don't understand why. Oh, Revan, I still don't understand what you're trying to do. Weren't we happy in this fragment of paradise? I wish I didn't have to disappear, but it's too late now. You're killing me. What about the fox? She won't come back, and it's your fault. My fault? She was the most fragile among us, and you broke her. Everything is going to hell. You included. That's so sad. <laughs> now we got more books. La Duche de Leguis. I don't know how to pronounce that. I was just getting fancy. Don't touch the axe. A book about a coquettish married noblewoman who was so bored that until she loved toyed with her beloved's feelings until... Should I use more power on it? Yes. I tried to use my powers on the book in order to create an object from the cover. Oh, what the... F <laughs> Not a puzzle. Not like this. Okay, I know how to do these. So... The thing you do here with puzzles, you always put the corner piece in the corners <laughs> that they match with. Wait a second. Okay, I was about to say, how is that one there? So this, I'm missing. This is another corner piece. Easy. Oh, wait, I got to put it up here, I'm sure. Yeah, easy. Well, at least it give you a little great block to fill in. All right, where's the last corner piece? I know how to do these jigsaw puzzles. I'm a kid of the 90s before the internet. I can do it. Maybe if I can find the other corner piece. Corner piece. Where is the last corner piece? Are you kidding me? I don't know where it's at. I don't see it. I'm just going to start putting pieces in, I guess. My ear is killing me. Oh boy, that's an itchy ear. 
Alright, this goes... I need a bottom piece now. It's not this one though, I need this bottom piece, this is it. And then this goes... Not there, that's for sure. Right, huh? Man, I am killing this puzzle right now, I'm banging it. I don't think this is it. That ain't it, Chief, there's no way. This is it. Who's this girl? That's not me. Oh, this is the one that was toying with the feelings, I guess. This ain't it either. I need hair. Where's her hair at? Right here, I think. No. Uh, no, that can be it, can it? No, that doesn't look right to me. Dang. Oh, we did it. That's not an axe. That is a scythe. An axe materialized. I can destroy the door now. Frankenstein, a scientist about a man... Scientist. Oh, a novel about a math scientist who creates a monster in an experiment. It's kind of a modern Prometheus. Should I use my power on it? Sure, why not? The book isn't responding well. I have to find something, one that can give me something useful. Well, I got the axe. Is that all I needed? Perfume, the story of a murderer. Oh, I saw there was like a movie kind of thing of this. The story of a man with no odor who murders people to find the perfect scent. Should I use my power on it? Okay, well, I guess I got what I needed. I can't take it anymore. I tried my best. I really did, but it was all in vain. You abandoned us. Now the time has come. I can't, won't be able to sustain any longer. You're going to die? Yeah, like you care now. Go ahead and try out your power all you want now. Nobody's going to stop you. That doesn't sound as fun as I thought. I'm sure it wouldn't bother you anyway. I'm just mad that you gave us hope just to shatter it in the end. That's so sad. Alright, I'll see y'all later. Let's break that door. So we can kill everything around me. I had to go through. I had to see for myself. See the other world. I decided to force my pace to quicken from the get-go to avoid getting sick too fast. Of course, it was difficult to estimate if I was near my goal or not in this island of flowers. As soon as, as soon enough, this familiar feeling ran through me. It was painful, so very painful, yet I threw myself forward. But it was no use struggling. Blood poured once again and my body wouldn't move any further. I think I'm already dead in this, like, dream world. Just before my vision went back, I saw something in the figure in the distance. There was something out there. I'm, like, borderline dead or something. The city again, huh? Always noisy, always cramped, the perpetual movement, and yet motionless. An endless circle of meaningless obligations. Nobody really has any choices there. Your destiny has been written for you a long time ago. And you don't have anything to say in the matter. If you're unhappy with God or whoever wrote the, these laws, well, too bad for you. Either you obey his society or disappear. Ooh, that's weird. When I opened my eyes, my body was hurting so badly. I almost felt nauseous and my headache was far worse. But I immediately thought about the fire field. I was almost there. I swore that I had seen something. I had to know. I had to destroy the door once more. It's dark in there, and I can hear water dripping from the walls. Is that supposed to represent my current state of mind? Revan, are you okay? You should take a look at yourself in the mirror. Oh, look at that evil face. Actually, don't do that. It might be better if you don't see the state you are in for the moment. Dear God, what have you done to yourself? What have you done to us? See, this world is crumbling down and soon it will be destroyed. I wanted to stay with you until the end, but I cannot. I'm almost reaching my limit. I, I was happy to see you again, even for a fleeting moment. And I feel deeply guilty that I couldn't protect you from yourself. What do you, what do you mean? The other, your other self is screaming. They don't want you to leave, and yet, they long for it deep down inside. I didn't want you to struggle anymore, to suffer, but I was unable to help you. What happened to the others? They went back into the darkness when you first gave them life. Do you remember the friends from your childhood? We haven't changed one bit. We were simply waiting for this time to come. We were waiting for you to need us again. And to our great joy, you came back. It was so too good to be true. For all these those years, you promised us that we'd be together and a little garden just for us, a purgatory that looked like a fragment of paradise. What oh, purgatory? Am I dead? Only you can choose between heaven and hell. Your soul is not lost yet. Broken glass, water is dripping from the ceiling. 
It's just an ordinary mirror. I'm pale as a ghost and there's blood on my clothes. Can't even look at the bed anymore. Can't see the sky anymore. There's a black hole above me now with all these candles. This feels more like a haunted house than a bedroom. Ah, uh, duck left too. Come to think of it, I didn't have, couldn't have any philosophical debates with him. Too bad. It reminded me of my childhood. It reminded me of the time when I was still curious, when I had wanted to understand the world around me. And the door has vanished for good. I can't destroy it this time. There seems to be a kind of opening in the tree. The librarian has disappeared as well. I guess she won't be able to enjoy those books anymore. I think that it's been an eternity since I had let the time to read one. Read, and that one time I got a chance, I let it pass me by. I'm stupid. Nausea. Philosophical debate about existentialism. Should I use my power on it? The book isn't responding well. I find one. Oh, this. Don't go. Interpretation of Dreams, a book introducing the theory of the unconscious by Freud. Freud? Freud? I couldn't use my power even if I wanted to. It's one of Freud's works, for God's sake. Freud's works, for God's sake. The Magic Mountain, complex book with many symbolic undertones. Also, it's about a mountain, I think. Should I use my power on it? Yeah, why not? I tried to use my power on the book to create, an, in order to create an object from the cover. Here we go again. More puzzles. This one seems easier though. Yeah, it's a small puzzle. It's a pretty neat game. I like the story so far. It's pretty pretty lit. There's the other corner pieces. Why do I? I'm so bad at finding pieces. There's one. Oh. No, it's not. I'm dumb. Corner piece, corner piece, corner piece. There we go. There's one corner piece missing. Somewhere. Do 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 do. Found it. Nice. Right, I'm missing like one or two more top pieces. There's one. Okay, two more top pieces. I guess. I guess. Ding dong diggity. Oh wait, that's not supposed to go there. Wait a second. Easy. A shovel materialized. Now I can dig a hole under the door. Alright, I'll see y'all on the flip side, I guess. Let's look at this real quick. The door has disappeared. Only the strange eye remains on the wall. Let's dig under that door. Oh, we're going straight to hell. Fuck. After digging for a while, I found myself in the flower field once again. My efforts had been rewarded this time. I know for sure. I determined I ran to make my way through the grass. Then the usual sickness struck me. I didn't feel as much pain as I thought I would. As if I was getting used to the dark embrace. As if I was beginning to accept it. When blood flowed from my mouth again, I didn't even care. I caught a glimpse of a figure again. I had to speed up to reach it. Scarecrow. When I managed to get to the thing in my field of vision, I realized that it was only a scarecrow. It looked funny, but not that extraordinary. Had I come all this way for nothing? I felt nauseous again. What now? The achievement, howdy, has been unlocked. Uh, I guess I can touch it. Wait a second, let me make sure there's nothing else to do before I touch it. I right, touch it. Ooh! <laughs> Dang it. Got me. That's not cool. Fight me, scarecrow. The city, I remember my life back then. I remember realizing that I was just a small useless cog in a much bigger machine that exceeded me. I wanted to escape that life so badly, to escape into an endless dream where everything would be as I wanted. Just like books, books hold many, many worlds, albeit closed ones, infinite worlds where futures as soon as their stories end, infinite worlds without futures as okay. So I don't know what to do anymore, so I would destroy. Things are not going well. I feel my body slowly decaying. I can hardly take the pain anymore. Damn that scarecrow. It hurts so badly. You're going to pay for this. I will destroy you. Just wait while I look for a weapon. Uh, Humpty isn't there here anymore. Guess he, he warned me. I'm all alone now. Oh god. Just an ordinary mirror. I'm pale as a ghost and there's blood on my clothes. 
There's another book lying in the drawer. Thirteen at dinner, a detective novel about a man who was stabbed, been stabbed to death. Should I use my power on it? I try to use my powers in the, on the book to something, something. Ooh, this is a bloody one. Dang, this is a long puzzle, I guess. Her head goes like gone ish. Probably goes here. This does not go there. Goes here. Probably goes here. Okay. Well, that's pretty easy when there's a face, I guess, because I can I can know where how a face goes together most of the time. Hey, I'm getting pretty lucky though. I'm not even really paying attention. It's going in the right spot. Pretty crazy. <laughs> oh, it's a daggum animu girl. This did not materialize. I wonder whom I can kill with that. Nah, just kidding. <laughs> okay. Nice. Oh, goodness. When I exited the room, the first thing that struck me was the hellish place that was that the once beautiful little garden had become. The previous time I went underground, maybe this time I have to find a way up. Oh. The tree is completely hot all I could enter it if I wanted to. But it's dark and I don't know what is in there. A door? There's a bottomless pit where I dug last time. I really don't want to fall into that. Flowers of evil, a volume of poetry, dealing with decadence and eroticism. Should I use my power on it? No. Oh. The Outsider, that's a good. A short, oh, I was thinking The Outsiders. A short story about a mysterious man living in a castle alone. Should I use my power on it? Oh, I can get more powers? All right, let's go. Puzzle looks harder though. Maybe not, who knows. One way or another. Uh, this goes here. This goes here. This probably goes like here. Yeah. Uh, this goes here. Probably goes here then. Maybe not. Who knows? Goes here. Yeah. At least these puzzles aren't hard, even though, I don't know. This isn't a bad game, I kinda enjoy it so far. The story's been super interesting. It's like pretty quick pace, but I like the story so far. Even though it seems like it's gonna be a shorter game, it feels like it's pretty fun. I've enjoyed myself on this one. Not gonna lie, good game. Or interesting game. For a visual novel. Visual novel. The ladder materialized. I can now climb the tree to go to the field. What the one? What was the book called? Also, Sprock Zarathustra, a philosophical novel about the death of God and an eternal recurrence. Should I use my power on it? Sure. That's not gonna work though. Okay. Well, we can get up here now. Let's climb up that tree and kill the scarecrow. Throwing myself over the wall, I landed in the flower field. Feverishly, I ran to the scarecrow, annoying the pain crossing my body. I had to find him. I had to destroy him. Blood poured from my eyes. I couldn't see where I was going, but I managed nonetheless. Oh, wow. Let's finish this, shall we? I rushed forward and stabbed him with all my strength. I thrust and thrust over and over again until I was satisfied, but it wasn't enough, so I stabbed him again while smiling. A small key fell from the scarecrow. A golden one, was it? Can't stay here forever. I did make that wish. I did hope to stay in that dreamy world forever, but something's not right. Something is pushing me to escape to the, to the real world. A powerful influence that I cannot oppose. Even though I know what I did, even though I remember why I was sent to this paradise, I hate myself for what I am doing. I'm unable to enjoy that perfect world existing in my mind. I hate myself. I don't deserve it. I only deserve to disappear to oblivion. I was in the dream world once again for the last time. 
Both the bedroom and the library were blocked. There was only one thing left to do. Open the real door that led to the other side. I had to hurry. But yeah, why is there a clock going? The water fountain, there's a small book trapped in the roots of it. Metamorph metamorphoses. A book about a man who has to deal with the repulsion. Of oh, I thought it was a Greek metamorphoses, not metamorphosis. Try to use my powers. Is there a reason why there's a clock going? Seems like it's actually like base racing me right now, which is not cool. <laughs> uh oh. What happens if I don't beat it in time? Hmm. Kind of interested. Wonder if there's like multiple endings if you like do it in time or if you don't do it in time or something like that. What the heck am I doing here? Hmm. What is this thing? Ooh, that is one ugly thing. Hmm. That is a creepy looking thing. Spider thing? Hmm. It's discomforting. What am I going to pull out of this book? Like a monster? Pendant materialized. It has a familiar shape. Could it be? I can't go to the library anymore. It's blocked by roots. I can't go to the room anymore. Everything is underwater. It's wiser to not open the door. I really don't want to fall into that. I guess we go. Open the door with the golden key. Uh, let me save first if I can. Save. Duck, fox, latte, humpty. I'm so sorry for screwing everything up, but I can't stay here. Hiding away in the past does no good. I enjoyed my childhood by your side, but as a poet once said, the best way to make your dreams come true is still to wake up. I must move forward, so let's do this, no matter what awaits me on the other side. I should have saved before I picked up the panda. I think that's going to give me the good ending. As I entered the tree, merging with it, everything faded to black. My left flashed before my eyes. I saw that fateful moment again when I tried... To escape reality once and for all. Am I dead now? What will happen to me? I slowly opened my eyes, an unfamiliar ceiling. It wasn't my bedroom or the dream like Eden. It was a hospital, which means I survived. Somebody spoke to me. I lifted my eyes. It was my mother, worried sick, looking at me with relief. Thank God, Reuben. You're okay. It would break my heart to lose you. Please don't do that again. I'm serious. I couldn't stand to live without you. Promise me? I'll do my best. I'm relieved to hear that. Oh, I should do it. No, it's strange, but I have a feeling it was the pendant that protected you all along. The pendant? The one I gave you for your birthday, remember? You were holding it in your fist while unconscious. I suddenly realized what a mistake it had been to abandon my mother. I had been a coward all along. I want to live in a peaceful existence, far from everything. No more noise, no more people. Just a peaceful life in a place where I can mind my own business without being disturbed. A world that would be just as I want, like a fragment of paradise, yet... Perfection cannot exist. Dreams will always be dreams, after all. There is no heaven or hell, just endless possibilities, endless worlds. I just have to find mine. That's all. Good ending? Question mark? Neither heaven nor hell. Alright, let's watch this and then we'll like speed run. Speed run to the actual other endings. Without the pendant, I guess. I guess there's multiple endings. It seems like it. How do I look at my achievements? There it is. Shouldn't look. I'm... Yeah, let's just do it. Save. Why not? Turn. Alright, so now we're just going in without the amulet. Duck, Fox, Lati, Humpty, Humpty, I'm sorry for screwing everything up, but I can't stay here. Even if you stayed the same, I've changed. The burden of the past is too heavy, I can't face it. The time when everything was easy is long gone. But let's do this, it doesn't matter where I go as long as I can run away. As I entered the tree merging with it, everything faded to black. 
My life flashed before my eyes. I saw that fateful moment again when I tried to escape reality once and for all. Did I kill myself? Am I dead now? What will happen to me? I slowly opened my eyes, an unfamiliar cell. It was, wasn't my room or the dreamlike Eden. It was a hospital, which means I survived. Somebody spoke to me. I lifted my eyes. It was my mother, worried sick, looking at me with relief. Thank God. Thanks, God, Revan. You're okay. I thought you kicked the bucket, but everything's fine now. Everything is as it should be. I'm with you. I'll always be with you. Mom? Oh, fuck. Okay. That just fucking scared the shit out of me. I'll stay with you in this world forever. You cannot escape your twisted mind. God, that just scared the fuck. <laughs> that wasn't cool, man. <laughs> I was not ready. God dang it. I want to leave in, live in a peaceful existence. Far from everything. No more noise. No more people. Just a peaceful life in a place where I can mind my own business without being disturbed. A world that would, would just be just as I want. Like a fragment of paradise. Yet, such a place. I don't deserve it. I shouldn't all be allowed to be happy. Bad ending. Not forever. So, thanks for watching as always guys, we got all the achievements and if you could please like and subscribe and hopefully my mic did pretty high, it's still a work in progress but yeah, thanks for watching as always, bye!